Hey guys, we are looking at some square roots today and more specifically square roots that don't have pretty answers. Okay. So quickest square root view of your life. Square root of nine is three because three times three gives me nine. Square root. Oh, that should have been smoother. Square root of a hundred equals 10 because 10 times 10 gives me a hundred. Okay. So what the square root is asking is what number multiplied by itself gives me this number. Okay. So as you can imagine, a lot of square root answers are not pretty numbers. They're like ugly decimals. No offense, but they're not very pretty. So how can I work with this? Well, what I can do is try to break it down. And let me show you what that means. So what we're going to do is figure out what numbers multiply to give me this number and see if there are any numbers in that that have a nice whole number square root answer. Okay, so this is what we do. I'm going to break 92 up. So um, I noticed that 92 is even, so I know 2 goes into it. So 2 times 46 gives me 92, okay? Now this is called prime factorization. So what I do as I'm doing this, when I get to a number that can't be broken down anymore, um, I circle it. And what I mean by that is the only numbers I could write here to break down two would be one times two. And I don't need to break that down. Sorry, one, but we don't need you right now. So I circle that one. Okay. But 46 can be broken down again. So two times 23 gives me 46. Two is prime is 23 prime. You just have to think about it for a second. It's odd. So two doesn't go into it. Three doesn't go into it. Ooh, I can't think of any two numbers that I can break 23 down into. So it is prime as well, okay? So now what I'm seeing here is two twos, okay? Which means with my square root, I can pull one of these twos out. And if you're like, what the heck? I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. So 92 can be written as two times two times 23. That's the prime factorization of this number. If you need, a video about that. I'll link one in the corner. So this equals 92. Okay. That's under my square root, right? I have two twos being multiplied by each other. So a two being multiplied by itself, which means I can pull one of those twos out. So I'll have on the outside of the radical, a two under the radical that 23 stays there. Okay. Now, if you're like, why did you just write one, two on the outside? Well, think about this for a second. Two times two is four, right? So I could have written this as four times 23 and the square root of four is two, okay? Same thing, just a different way to look at it if this way was confusing, okay? Hopefully that made sense. I will link a playlist in the corner which, with lots of other square root videos if you need them. All right, thanks, bye.